I don't know, am I a freak of nature? No, seriously, seriously. Am I really a freak of nature? Girl Joy, I'm back with another Vega. I know I have been missing for a while, hunty. Purr, purr. I've been missing. I don't know, I just wasn't motivated. I have been doing things. I've, I've vlogged just a tiny bit. Maybe I just took a break. And baby, I am tired. I don't think kid, wait a minute, hold on, calm down, calm down. How you doing, you all right? Baby's doing. I haven't talked to y'all in a long time. Purr, what's going on? What's going on? <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. I was up to almost two in the morning. Came up with some crazy idea to do a lesson. People, a lot of people, students don't realize how much goes into lessons, and then when it bombs. We're quite disappointed, but we keep going on and going on. Go well, I know I do. So, I was Detective Basil today, and a lot of people asked me if I was Carmen San Diego. I was like, "Who is that?" I, guess I ain't watched that growing up at all, and so I was like, "I'm Detective Basil." <laughs> we are looking for the missing substitute teacher, Miss Beaverhausen. Some of you know me know that that's my famous character. Miss Sweet Short Sally. She has not been to the school yet. I'm not sure because she takes a lot of energy. She's a lot, she's extra, honey. She's extra. So I'm not sure. I was like, I could do probably two class periods of her, but she's extra. And I don't know if everyone will appreciate her, the energy, the time, her wit. So I love her to pieces, Miss Sweet Show Sally. I wish I could take her on the road and be a guest teacher everywhere. So that is, I guess that's a dream of mine. So all is well in the Basil household. So I want to pop on in and let you know that we're okay. I got a few emails. I, I think I just took a break. I just took a break, but I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay sis. I'm okay. Bobby's doing great. Sydney's doing great. Bobby just, um, she received five awards. We went to her basketball banquet. I did get a little bit of that. She got uh, five awards. <laughs> you know, that's Bobby. Um, Sydney's hanging in there trying to figure out her classes for her last year's school. From what I hear, Clinton is doing well. Okay. Um, we'll text here and there, but not very often. And he's in school. Um, he has two jobs, child. Two. I did not study. I said two, Huntsy. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I said what I said, and I meant what I said, too. And my heart, I still struggle with this. I still do. I still struggle with, you know, my decision to say, you know, if you don't want to buy by these rules and just do basic life things, then you're going to have to go. Yeah, I still, my heart still hurts. But look at what he's doing now. So, I still, my heart still hurts. It still hurts. Anyway, I just wanted to drop in and let you guys know that I'm okay. I'm ready. Okay, let me go back. Let me go back. <laughs> so, I had this idea in my mind for this lesson. So, I just said I'm going to do a whole detective thing, but the kids will be taking a state standardized test in a couple of days. So, I was like, what is a great way? They're going to do the writing portion. I was like, what is a great way to review, revise, and edit? So, I stayed up for, I'm not going to tell you how many hours trying to figure it out. So much work and energy went into this project. Um, I just have to feel in my heart that, I would say out of all my kids, I would say 90%, 92% got into it and in trying to figure out the codes and this and that. 92% got into it. Um, the other 8%, I'm like... Why don't y'all just go somewhere? Because you're not in it to win it at all. So I may see if I can start to send them somewhere else because they're a distraction to the class. You're not you're not here for anything else but to socialize. Bye, 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 bye. Anyway, <laughs> um, but I'm still gonna you know do my best and do my part because that's what I need to do in my heart regardless. I have a, a few students who I call my A team. They're on it, honey. They are on it. They were into it. One girl, she, um, no one made it to the end. One girl came back. She was like, 
Miss Basil, I figured this out. This is the code right here. It's not the one. It's not working. I said, let me check. Let me check. Because in my head, I was going to change the code, but I got sleepy. By the time 1.30 in the morning rolled around, I was, I was like, whatever. Who going to check me, boo? Nobody. <laughs> but they really liked it. Um... I like how they work together and I just worked the tables and where they struggled and we had little mini lessons. It was really fun. It was a lot of fun, but it was a lot of work. So anyway, with that said, I'm going to go home. Bobby is doing a signing, a college sign. I don't know. So I have to take the day off of that because during the day, maybe I could take a half day. I don't like leaving my kids. <laughs> maybe I could take a half a day and find out what time that is so I can attend her signing and she's looking for... Honey, I already talked about this. Oh, I keep forgetting I did that video on the fish sandwich. Um, she's looking for a prom dress. I'm trying to not put the way I feel my uniqueness. Even with my lessons, I, I'm, I always throw a twist on my stuff. My brain just works differently. It's just, I'm just, I don't know, am I a freak of nature? No, seriously, seriously. Am I really a freak of nature? Because everything, I see something and I and I see different opportunities. Even with my clothes, I'm like, mm -mm, it needs some. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I just think differently. Am I really a freak of nature or, or am I so different? Because I'm like, Bobby, don't you want to look different? Everybody's going to look like a control C, control V. You know, everybody's going to look the same, you know, copy paste. And she doesn't want to branch out. So, and then when she showed me a dress, I was like, oh, it's nice. It looks like your friend's dresses. She was like, see, now you're being kind of, what do you want me to say? Oh, that's one. No, regular. <laughs> I know. God forgive me. But, and don't ask me then. <laughs> Just don't, just don't ask me. <laughs> Cause if the dress doesn't have feathers and a peacock coming out the back, you know. Anyway, so, and she says, well, it is my decision. Okay, that is your decision then. What you asking me for? Don't ask me then. I was like, you're right. <laughs> y'all, y'all know what I did? You know, that whole stimmy thing went around. I couldn't help myself and I got a try to find a car for bobby so trying to say you know try, oof. so you know i always gotta do something for the classroom so please look at my teacher's wish list y'all <sighs> so i bought a few little things for my classroom i i just can't help myself people's like why you do it that way i really can't help myself it's just like i i can't help myself <laughs> Mm, and that, oh my god, I can't wait to show you this new thing I got for the classroom. I need to paint it. I'm so tired. Maybe I'll start painting the first coat today. I'm so excited. I'm going to see if I can bring it in this weekend. Hmm. I have to ask the principal about that. So listen, listen, listen. I'm, then I'm going to go. So I asked the principal, right? I said, Mr. Principal. I said, um, you look nice today. I said, you look real nice. Uh, I like your tie. You know, I, you know, I had to butter him up, right? I was like, <coughs> you know, there's no other classroom here that looks like mine. And you know, you know, I come in a month early. You know, I put in an extra. You know, do you think I could leave my room up for the next year? Because I'm going with a different concept. But I don't want to take everything down. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't like change. And if I let you, I got to let other people. I said, who else room looks like this? Mr. Principal, you tell me. He'll probably say no. But, man, I still be changing the room around. I done changed this room around 99,000 times. I even had my little girls help me um, change the room around, too. So, let me show you what I've done. Then I'm going to get out of here. Okay. So I wish I could share my lesson with you guys. It is fun. It would be a fun challenge for you guys to see if you can break the codes for everything. I would have to change all my settings in order to share the link with you for you to attempt to solve the puzzle of the missing substitute teacher, Miss Beaverhausen. 
<laughs> so I came in early. I came, no, I didn't come in early. I came in like 15 minutes early and I rushed to um, shoot the video, but then I didn't have my little adapter to go to my Apple. So I was like, oh my God, how am I get this video? So it took me a minute how to get the video that I shot from my camera to my phone. It was a, that's why the video looks kind of distorted. But anyway, I got it done. I came in here and shot the little video real quick and I was like, come on, I gotta upload this, come on. And I made it just in time. So I love when things work out like that, but sometimes it is stressful, but you know, you get it in where you can fit it in. Good morning. I'm reporting live from CCCCCC TV News. There has been an incident at AMS Middle School. A teacher has gone missing and we need to find her right away. We need you to look at all the evidence and the clues presented in this case in order to locate the missing substitute teacher, Miss Bieberhausen. She was last reported at school at AMS on Wednesday morning, but no one has seen her since. There have been many clues left behind, so please take a moment to analyze all the clues left behind so we can find Mrs. Bieberhausen. Any information leading to her rescue and her return to Miss Basil's class, a reward will be given. Over and out. C C C C C C News. So anyway, listen, 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 listen. So I didn't change this room around like four times. I'm about to change it again. This side doesn't change too much. This side of the room, this side changed quite a bit. Let me just show you around. Not that you're interested, but what else you doing besides looking at crazy Detective Basil? Let me pop my collar. Pop my collar. Oh yeah, child, listen, listen. <laughs> Ooh, I ain't talked to y'all in a long time. So listen, listen. I had this idea in my head, right? Ooh. I need to order some stuff for my next escape room. So, I was trying to find a real lock. I think that, that, that's another story. So I went to the thrift store. I was like, oh my God, I hope I could find me a trench coat, right? I need to find a trench coat, per. You know, to do the whole, the whole thing, the whole shebang. I need the trench coat. I don't want to pop my collar, right? So I had the trench coat, I had my mic and everything. And I was like, I threw this hat on. So I robbed the one. <gasps> Y'all, I forgot I had duty. I totally forgot I had duty. Child, that's my booty. I totally forgot, sis. They gonna put me on the list. Dang it. They gonna put me on the list, y'all. That's the naughty list. I forgot. Oh. Anyway, let me show you this room. I'm already in trouble. I'm overwhelmed. I'm just overwhelmed, y'all. I really am. All right, let me show you. <clears throat> so now these things over here with the stand-up desk. Those are my wobble boards. I just put them up here at night. But we didn't use my room today. We went to the library. This is bigger. I added this. <clears throat> so it kind of blocks off this area. So it makes it like a section. So this is a section. I may have to make it bigger. This oh, right. And then this is a section. Something's missing right here. Oh, so I need to put like posters or something there, learning posters or something here. And then I brought these pillows from Ross. These are doggy pillows. And then when we do group after instruction, the kids can, the kids are welcome to sit around here for group work. And then this is over here. So then it looks like this. So I like it because it sections it off. I really, really like it. Then I have two tall tables. I'm waiting for some chairs so that I'll get rid of one of these. So the ultimate goal is to create a cafe vibe in here. I can even see two tall tables back there and that'll really make it like cafe, cafe. But we'll see. I kind of like the little seating area. So I'm gonna change. Um, I can't wait to bring the two tables in. Oh my God, I'm so excited to show you my little gizmo that I'm getting. I have to paint it though. So, baby, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, listen, listen, calm down, calm down, calm down. Baby, you're not gonna be able to tell me nothing, honey. 
You're not gonna be able to tell me nothing, okay? You think, I think I'm a star now? You wait, purr, purr. I'm gonna I'm be a star all day, every day. Purr, purr. I don't need a million subscribers, I don't. Wait till y'all see this, honey, wait. I'm a star in my head. I am, I'm a thinking, I'm a believer, I'm gonna bring it in. That's what I am, ooh. Hello? Mom. All right, y'all. I'm gonna talk to these kids. 